Hey everyone. Today, we will learn and demonstrate how black hat hackers can steal your Facebook or other social media accounts. In this video, we will focus on Facebook accounts. If an unethical hacker decided to steal your Facebook account, they have three methods. The first one is to compromise or hack Facebook itself. That is very difficult because Facebook or Meta has a strong security team and cybersecurity analysts who continuously work to protect Facebook from hacking attempts. The second way is if the hacker is able to compromise your device, whether it's a computer or mobile phone. This is also quite difficult because operating systems like Microsoft Windows and Google's Android have strong security layers. However, if they do succeed, they can easily steal sensitive credentials, such as your Facebook account password, email address, or phone number. The last and easiest way is a phishing attack, which is the method we'll use in this video. Now, what is a phishing attack? Let's ask Google. You'll see it says that phishing is an attempt to steal sensitive information, typically in the form of usernames, passwords, credit card numbers, bank account information, or other important data in order to utilize or sell the stolen information. Let's try to understand how it works with this image. Here, you can see a target and the attacker. In this attack, the hacker first makes a clone of the original website, creating a fake website called a phishing site. The hacker then sends this phishing website link to the victim via email, social media, phone number, or other methods. When the victim receives the link, they may think it's a real website. If they enter their credentials, those credentials go directly to the hacker. This process is called a phishing attack. Now, let's demonstrate how an attack is conducted. To perform this attack, we will use a tool called JetFisher. Many of you might be familiar with this tool, but in this tutorial, we'll use a modified script that will automate form submission and allow us to bypass two-factor authentication if the victim has enabled it. First, let's install the tool. Open Google and type JetFisher GitHub. Click on the first page link to access the tool. You'll see it's described as an automated phishing tool with 30 plus templates. Scroll down to find a step-by-step -step guide to install this tool. You can install it on Termux as a dev file, or even run it in Docker. We'll be using it on our Kali virtual machine. To install it, click the code button, copy the URL, Open your terminal, navigate to your desired directory, and run the necessary commands. You should see that the tool has been successfully installed. Now let's install the automation script. I've provided a Google Drive link in the description. Copy the link, paste it into your browser, and download the Python script file. After downloading, copy it and paste it into the JetFisher tool directory. Once in the directory, you'll see our script there. To run the script, you'll need to install the Chromium browser. Open the script with mousepad to see the installation steps for the requirements.
the copy and paste the commands into your terminal. you'll see that the browser has been successfully installed. Now let's test it. Great, the browser is working and we're ready to use the script. Run the tool. When you execute it for the first time, it will initialize and then install Cloudflare. And another port forwarding tool. Once it's running, you'll see the tool's version and the creator's details. You have options for 30 different phishing attacks across platforms. For this video, we'll use the Facebook phishing option. Choose option 1. You can also select from other options. A fake Facebook security login page, messenger page, and more. But we'll stick with the Facebook login page. it will ask you to select a service for hosting the phishing page. I recommend using Cloudflare as it's user-friendly and offers some benefits. Select option 2. Next, it will ask for a port selection. The default is 8D80. You can change it, but I'll keep it as is. The phishing page has now successfully hosted on our local machine with the default port and is forwarding using Cloudflare, so we can share it over a wide area network. You can also mask the URL if you want, but I'll leave it as is for now. Phishing page has been successfully created. Now, just share this URL with your victim. You can use social engineering to share this URL with your victim via email, social media, or other platforms to tr trick them into visiting our phishing page and logging in. Let's set up a victim and attacker machine side by side to see what happens when the victim clicks this URL. The right side shows the victim's device.
and the left side is our attacker's Kali machine running in a virtual machine. Let's assume you've sent this link to your victim, and they click the malicious URL. Once opened, the victim's IP address is captured and saved to a file in the auth directory, and a Facebook login page, which appears identical to the real one, opens on their browser. This shows our Cloudflare IP address. Now, as the victim, I'll enter the login credentials. After clicking the login button, the page redirects to Facebook's forgot password page, so the victim may think their password was entered incorrectly. In reality, however, the credentials have been captured on our attacker machine. Here, you can see the captured email address and password. To automate the submission, let's run our script. The script automatically opens the browser and logs into the real Facebook site with the stolen email and password. Since we're using a test email and password, it will show incorrect credentials. You can modify the script to bypass two-factor authentication if the victim has it enabled. To do this, you would modify the phishing page so that when the victim enters their login credentials and clicks the login button, they're redirected to another phishing page that asks for the OTP code sent to their email or phone number. Meanwhile, our script runs in the background, capturing and automatically logging in with the credentials. If two-factor authentication is enabled, the OTP will be sent to the victim's email or phone number, and will receive it as well. This is how a hacker can hack your Facebook account. To stay safe, don't click on untrusted links. To secure your digital identity, subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the bell icon for updates as soon as they're available.